Hey guys, one last video for today, which is stretching. So, so very important. Um, even before you begin strength workouts, flexibility is most important. Keeps your muscles more balanced and it will help to decrease any soreness that you may feel from your workout. So this is a post-workout stretch, right? So we're gonna hold each stretch for about 30 seconds, which is very important to give those muscles time to relax and elongate again. So we're gonna start out on hands and knees, hands directly below your shoulders. We're gonna lean back, press your chest in towards the floor, okay? You should feel a good stretch back here and in your lower back. Let everything relax. Take nice deep breaths in and out. And as you're in this stretch, hopefully you'll be able to sink deeper into it. Feels good, doesn't it? This is going to feel really good too. So we're slowly going to walk our arms to one side. You're going to keep this outside arm mostly straight. Again, lowering your chest down towards the floor and you should feel a nice good stretch along your side here. Okay, so again, this is a post-workout stretch. If you need a warm up and some dynamic stretching, there's another video for that. This is post workout to keep your muscles more balanced. All right, we're going to walk to the other side. Keep your muscles more balanced and, um, and decrease any soreness you may have from the workout. So these are for immediately following your workout but they're also good for any time, especially when you feel sore. Nice big breath, sink deeper into the stretch. Okay, come out of that nice and slow. Flip over to your bottom now. Okay, lean over. Lean over your legs. You're just going to walk down as far as you're able to. Okay, even if you're only up here, that's okay. Um, now, I want you to kind of hold the bottom of your legs and avoid that bouncing. Okay, I've seen a lot of people do this uh, bouncing thing, <laughs> which is not, not really good for this post-workout stretch. So, you want to just walk down as far as you can and just hold it. Let your lower back relax, breathe, and see if you're able to sink deeper into the stretch as your muscles relax. Okay, All right, come up nice and slow. Now we're going to walk our arms behind us, okay, head back a little bit to keep it in line with your spine, stretch out the front of your deltoid, the front of your shoulders and your chest muscles, your deltoids and your pecs, okay, and as your muscles relax, you can see if you can walk your hands back a little further. Oh, it feels nice, huh? Hopefully you got some soft, relaxing music playing now. Okay, you're going to slowly walk back up. All right, we're going to do a 90 and 90 stretch. It's going to get your glutes and your hip area here. And if you're not able to do this one very effectively, I'll show you a different way you can do that here in a moment. But you're going to have a 90 degree bend in your front leg, 90 degree bend in your back leg. Then you're just going to walk over your front leg, straight over that front leg. And you should feel it in the hip area of this leg that's in front. Okay? 
Now, the thing with stretching is our muscles are so used to being tight that we have to, it's a mind thing too. We have to be mindful to let those muscles relax. So be very mindful. Just let everything relax as much as possible. Again, it's, it's crucial to hold these post-workout stretches for 30 seconds. Okay, walk up nice and slow with your arms. You guessed it, we're gonna turn to the other side. So 90 degrees in front, 90 degrees in the back with your legs, okay? Then you're just gonna walk over that front leg. Good stretch right here, okay? Breathe in. Mindful to let those muscles relax and sink deeper into the stretch. Hmm. Okay. Walk it up nice and slow. Now, if you're not able to do that stretch very effectively, I'm going to show you a different one you can do seated in a chair. And you can do this anytime. Those of you that have office jobs or sit a lot or car rides, this will really help too. So you're going to take one foot, cross it over the other leg. You're going to use your hands above your knee. So on your thigh, above your knee joint. So we're avoiding pushing on the knee above your knee to hold your leg open. And then you're just going to lean straight over that way. Again, being mindful to let all of this relax. Okay. And breathe in nice and nice and deep and hopefully getting deeper and deeper into that stretch. That feels good, doesn't it? This is my favorite stretch in the whole world. Nice job. Sink deeper and deeper. Okay, you can do this stretch just about anywhere. You can sit down with the, on the couch isn't so great, but <laughs> it's a little too cushiony. But anywhere you have a sturdy service, surface, okay? Crossing the other leg over, holding your leg open above your knee joint on your thigh and lean into the stretch again being mindful to let all of this relax and oh my gosh it feels so good okay this is good like i said if you Sit at a desk a lot or ride in the car. Okay, we're going to get our arms a little bit more and then we'll be done with this post workout stretch. So, arm across, using your other arm to pull it towards you. Okay, on this side of your elbow, pull it towards you. Some kind of big old work truck outside. No, you guys can hear that beeping. Sure you can. All right, shake that out. Other arm, pull in above your elbow, pulling your arm back towards you. Stretching feels so good, and it's so, so important. I'm guilty of not taking the time to stretch sometimes too, but it is the foundation of your physical fitness. And then core. <laughs> okay, shake that out. We're going to go up behind. So, again, avoid pulling directly on your elbow. You want to go above it, below it, whichever way you want to look at it, and pull back.
Okay, so until you get used to, to knowing what to do and stretching on your own, you can follow this video um, anytime, especially post-workout. But avoid doing this one pre-workout. Before your workout, you want to just do a warm-up with some active dynamic stretches. Breathe in. Okay, and one last stretch I'll show you you can do. This is to get your, um, your quads really good. So um, you're going to be here straight up. All right. If, if you're not very flexible yet, you may already be feeling that here in your quad. Um, if you're more flexible, you, you can grab that back foot and get a deeper stretch there in your quad. Okay. And see, I'm holding on to the chair on the other side. That way I can really relax these muscles instead of working them to keep myself stable. I'm holding on so I can really relax these muscles. And allow myself to get into a deeper stretch. Okay, and here you can also take that foot out a little further and lean into it. See, I have a 90 degree bend here, so my foot's not so close that my knee's overshooting it. Okay, so I took my foot out, nice lean in, and you should feel this right in the front of your hip. Oh yeah, that's nice. Breathe in. Okay, and you might be able to feel yourself sink deeper into that stretch, okay? All right, then we're going to go to the other side, All right? 90 degrees here in your leg, okay? Standing straight up, you might feel that stretch enough, or you can hold your leg back here. Nice, deeper stretch in your quad. take this heel out a little more and lean into the stretch this way. Get a nice good stretch there. Okay, as you're breathing and relaxing, you may feel yourself be able to sink deeper into that stretch. Again, it's a mind thing. You got to be mindful to let these muscles relax. Okay, and you're only going to the point of, of slight pulling and discomfort. I'm holding that for 30 seconds. Okay, coming back up. And then last thing, if you want to get your hamstrings, all right, you're going to lie back, one knee bent on the floor. You're going to come here and just pull your knee back towards your chest. Okay, and you should feel a good stretch through here. Breathe in. Okay, but again, remember your leg's not doing any work. You're just letting everything relax as much as possible. Okay, bring it down nice and slow. This knee bent, bring the other leg up. Okay, if you're not quite flexible yet, you might, might wanna grab here and pull back. Again, avoid directly on your knee joint. Go on your thigh. Okay, if you're a little more flexible, you can grab further up and pull your knee back towards your chest. Okay, and keeping that angle open and your leg is what's key here to really get that stretch. If your knee's bent, you're not going to feel it. Okay, so you got to open this leg and pull back. Okay, 
right. Bring that down nice and slow. Okay, guys. So you can refer back to this after your workouts or anytime you feel like you need a good stretch. Um, do some yoga, Pilates. Again, flexibility and stretching is so important, the most important. So I hope this helps, and much love to you guys. I'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.